the second half. GDFL round eight match of the day. East Belmont and Geelong West Cricket and Football Club at Baker's Oval. And, uh, well, Epco Easy Shops bringing us the third quarter. We see that Geelong West Cricket and Football Club 9 6 60 lead. East Belmont 4 4 28. We were a little bit late getting back up here for the second half because of the fantastic spread at half time. Gus, it was pretty good. Oh, I didn't get into it much. Or did it? <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. A couple of sloppy draws there. <laughs> Start of the third quarter now. Ladder and Keegan, as they have done all day, ruck done changed. We'll go for the ruck contest. Keegan gets it down. He's on hands and knees again. Handball to Chris Stern. Gets wrapped up. Gets the kick away. Falls towards Wigmore. Short little handball to the love child Cook. Back to Legel. Back to Wigmore. Fresh air shot. Oh, good pressure there from Wigmore on Stern. Comes out towards Scott Shepherd. Tried to push it on towards Ratchie. Cut off there by Booby McLaughlin. Ratchie in there again. Falls out the back of the pack towards... That looks like it was Legel. McLaughlin again. Worked hard in there for the Lions. Trapped by ladder on hands and knees. Handball back towards Ratchie. Can't pick it up. Can do so now. Told to come at him. Lacino shepherds for him. Short looking out towards Vinnie Lehman. Takes the mark on the wing. Stewie Scott floating around centre half forward behind Posman. Always shepherd it off there. Could have been a free kick. Out towards Wigmore. Taps it onto himself. Oh, he's got Westwick inside as well. Wigmore takes a bounce. Oh, he's going to put himself under pressure again now. Left little left foot kick is all right though. Had presence of mind to get it there. And Good Andy there Hill. Shaking his head. <laughs> Andy Hill's taking the mark in the forward pocket in front of the grandstand. Let's hope he kicks it a bit better than the last one there, uh, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's only about 15 metres out, but he's on a bit of a tighter angle than he was the last time to kick his only goal today. He comes in now, runs out a little bit, goes very close to the man on the mark, but has finished it off yeah. a lot better. And Andy Hill's second goal, and a good start for the uh, Cheetahs. Yeah, it's interesting to see. They've uh, took away the running centre forward, put the big fella Sean Warren there. Um, he's matched up with uh, Mirko Snella, so that wouldn't be a bad contest what's going on there. So, good goal and a good start for uh, Geelong West there. 10 6 66, East Belmont 4 4 28. Andy Hill's second goal, as we said, that's the Apco Easy Shops third quarter scoreboard. We can go in just a couple of minutes in this third quarter. Back in the, <laughs> the one stop shop that's got the lot, exactly. Ronnie's not here today, so somebody has to do the uh, free plugs for him. Bounce down now. Scott gets it down to Wigmore in the centre. Right foot kick, open forward line. Cow! <laughs> he comes out. And in the sand pit there, takes the mark at centre half forward. Oh, that's that's the way to play football here. Out of the uh, ruck and uh, straight down Cowie's throat. Stewie always says a trainer, that bit of dirt patch is a full forward area, and he's landed right in it. <laughs> <laughs> so Cowie now has kicked four goals so far. He comes in right boot. Good kick off the boot, is it? Is he? I think he has he just pushed it to the far side. He has done so. He wouldn't be real happy with that. Looking for the breeze to bring it back. It didn't work hard enough for him. So one behind and. They go on a 10 7 67 Geelong West. East Belmont 4 4 28. Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. Bell plays on, kicks in. Out towards half back. Yeah. Stewie Scott. Good grab overhead, as you heard Gus say. Little handball to Vinnie Lehman's going to put him under pressure. Short little kick, though, is good to Westwick. Good little chip kick. And Westwick will be kicking from 47. We're kicking for goal. It's a good he's, kick. Yeah, he's kicked one already. Goes up now. Long. Pack develops. One. Cowie in front. Tapped through, though, by McLaughlin for a rush behind to Geelong West. So they've done all the attacking in this early stage of the third quarter. 10-8, 68. East Belmont, 4-4, 28. Apco Easy Shop, third quarter. Interesting set up here, Jase. They've got Scotty Truitt in the forward pocket limping and uh, Al Beekman's on the bench and I don't think he's injured. So, mm. interesting setup. Kick in by Bell. Out towards half forward. The love child being held on to. Follows the ball up. Gets it back towards ladder. Cook in there at the bottom of the pack again. Tries to tap it out. The umpire will come in and ball it up. Well, the umpire's credit, they're letting it go, Jason. They're, just, they're not worrying about the little things. They're just uh, just letting it go and uh, playing the harder ones. McLaughlin, a big thump out of the ruck tap out there towards Ladder and also Chris Stern. They've got the numbers here, the Cheaters. Ladder now, handball over the top, Westwick. Turns around, he had McLaughlin there. Oh, hand, handball to Ratsy, put him under pressure. Handball back in towards Sneller, runs out. Rides yeah. the bump. Now he's wrapped up, too high, Mirko. Yeah, Rode the first bump and then got one high. And we'll take the free kick in between centre half back and full back. See, Mirko's worked on his weight over the last four or five years and he's been a better player for it, I think, Jason. The kick out towards Frost at half back out of side for the Lions. Kick in board. Stewie Scott's going to meet it and does so. Hand border. Frank Ianelli running through. Ianelli goes long. Cowie comes out suckling in front. Cowie, good contest. They've got the numbers though, the Lions. Posman, handball. 
Nearly intercepted. Rick's running backwards. Left foot kick around the corner. Warren's going to have to stem weight. Good mark. Yeah. The big hand too. Frost came across, but the mark. Long kick up towards Cowie and Suckling back there. Gets one on Westwick, but takes the easy mark. Actually, Grant's done a good job. Yeah. He uh, did a few times there across uh, in front of the full board there, the first half, and he's done it again just now. Hand handball from Wigmore there. He took mark towards Stewie Scott. Back towards Andy Hill. And there, there, wasn't, there wasn't much going flesh-wise on Andy Hill's body today. He's got gloves on. He's got uh, bike pants on. He's got the knee brace on. <laughs> you wouldn't want to pull the socks up. You wouldn't see his legs. <laughs> he looks like he's ready to go diving for a cross. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Hill now, 40 metres out, runs in. It's a fair kick off the boot. It's gone. Oh, it's a great kick off the boot. That's a goal, I think. It is. Yep. And Andy Hill, well, two goals in this quarter and three for the match. He's... Uh, Started off the third quarter in great fashion with two goals, and there you go to 11 8 74 Geelong West Cricket and Football Club, East Belmont 4 4 28. Interchange must have heard me. <laughs> interchange has <laughs> you. You've probably got a direct line to the interchange bench. Beekman's is on, and Truen's off. So a good start here for the uh, Cheetahs with a couple of early goals in this third quarter. We've been going about five minutes. Back to the centre now, Ladder and Keegan. Up to, towards ladder. McLaughlin running off his wing. Loses the ball. Ratchy kicks off the ground. Wigmore tries to tap it on. Sneller coming across. Ratchy's there. He's got pace to burn again. Back towards Warren coming out and also Robe. Good play by Robe. He backed Ooh. himself there. Left foot kick around the corner. Only as far as Wigmore at half forward. Short little kick in towards Cook. And also Legal. Keegan pushed in the back and will get a free kick. At, well. at centre half back he has done so. Trevor Keegan now in the sand pit. Goes high and long towards Kelly and Ian Ellie. Oh, good roving off the back. Lacino right foot kick with the outside of his boot there. Ricks now. Short little kick back towards Damien Kelly. And Damien Kelly takes the mark. And he's got Posman further afield, but his kick smothered. Lacino's there. Also Westwick close to the boundary line and now out of bounds. So we're on the wing. Good pressure there. Yeah, good pressure. Boundary throw in now, Ladder and Keegan. Keegan now takes the front position. Short throw in. Kelly taps it on. Nick Lacino traps the ball, kicks it across. Good kick to Wigmore leading out in front of Williamson there. Takes the mark. Plays on quickly. Back towards Legal and Westwick coming out. The love child who's bandaged from head to toe by the looks of it. Keegan gets another push in the back. Working hard. Advantage paid. Suckling now. What's he kick to? He goes long towards Neil and also Joseph up there. Falls to the back of the pack. Buchanan running through Lacino. Falls to Posman. Handball yeah. is good to Joseph. Buchanan now play on advantage. Buchanan can finish it off with a goal, can he? Goes towards Sutherland on the opposite side. In fact, it's out of bounds on the full. And the result free kick is going to go to Andy Harris in the last line of defence for the Cheetahs. Bit of a scrummage. And a bit, of a bit of a scrummage at half back. Oh, there's more than four. It's a melee. <laughs> Ten grand each for the clubs. That'll put them, <laughs> that'll put them into trouble. They've got the numbers out there. East Belmont now from that free kick from Harris. Hill now. Little kick around the corner. McLaughlin pushed off the ball. In fact, he pushed into the ball by Ratchy. Got rid of it. Ratchy runs at it now. Again, he's got support. Sam Lacino, they both left it for each other. Ratchy in the middle of the ground. Left foot kick long towards Legal. Cook over the back. will get this. The love child. Oh, he ducks his head. Gets around from two tackles. Goes long with his right boot. Great kick. Vinny Lehman can run onto the ball and take the mark. So Vinny Lehman will be able to kick from 30 metres out directly in front for his first goal of the day. And good play by Jason Ratchy across the uh, midfield there. And the love child getting into it also. So, Lehman now comes in, 30 out. Kick off the boot, I think he might have missed to the near side, to the far side. Been a bit quiet today, Joe. He has. Yeah. <laughs> trained at Newtown before the start of the season, I believe, is that right? He trained at Newtown, had a few work commitments and uh, struggled to uh, attend full sessions and stuff, so he's uh, he's come back and played, uh, going to play the year out here, and obviously his GFL potential, and he's only young, so. Kicking by Bell, long towards half back. Play on. A couple of players got their hands to it there. Handball to Cook to Warren from Cook. Has no left foot, obviously, because it wasn't very good there. Beekman's back to Scott. Stewie sits and waits on the half-forward flank. Lines it up now. Left foot kick long. Cowie runs straight out the ball. Oh, in front of Ian Alley. Pay the mark. He has done so. And little Frank will have a kick for goal 20 metres out, 45-degree angle. Give Frankie one thing. He stands 10 foot tall in the hard situations. He doesn't skirmish it or anything. Knew there'd be heaps coming at him from the back there and just stood his ground. So, Ian Ellie now to post his first goal of the day. 
and push West further in front. Good kick by Ann Alley also. So they've started the better in this vital third term. They move to 12-9-81. And East Belmont a 4-4-28 on the Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. And that was their halftime score, the Lions. So they need a little bit around midfield. And Frankie. Got a smile on his face. He's <laughs> running back down the back line there. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Yep, he's running back to pick up Travis Kelly. So a good goal from Frank Anelli there. Probably tell him, wait till his mum finds out about that part. <laughs> <laughs> he's still laughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I said to him a couple of weeks ago, I said to him after, I just said to him, just make sure you enjoy your footy, Frankie. Don't get too serious. You can still play the same without being too serious. So he's taken, he's adhered to the words of Gus Primer there. Tapped down by Keegan towards Posman. Running through Stewie Scott, handball back to Frank Gianelli. Also Wigmore there. Oh, Frankie doing it easy. He's probably still smiling. Right foot kick long towards centre half forward. Warren comes out. You wouldn't want to stand in front of this man when he runs at the ball. As Rexy Hart would say, he's got a his hairy Hari Krishna haircut. He's been on holidays for a week. <laughs> <laughs> kick is a poor one though. Goes to Keegan at centre half back. He takes the mark. Always oh, going to put Stern under pressure. Lakino came at him though. Play on advantage there. Rex goes long towards Posman at centre half forward. He takes the mark in front of Scragger Craig. Bit of a problem here when the centre half forward has to run down and pick up the running players. Goes wide. Good kick towards Buchanan. Can he trap it? He can do so. Gets around Scott and Ladder. Buchanan, can he finish it off with a goal? It's a fair kick off the boot. Sutherland stands there in the goal square. And I think it might have been through anyway. Yes, it was Buchanan. Good kick for goal. Had voted oh, yeah. two players and uh, has kicked his third and East Belmont's fifth. For the opportunities he's had, he's played pretty well, hasn't he? Yeah, he certainly has. East Belmont 5-4-34, their first goal of this third quarter. Geelong West Cricket and Football Club 12-9-81, Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. So, uh, as we said, Buchanan came across from South Barwon. Obviously didn't get many opportunities there, but he's played pretty well. Uh, Jamie Sutherland going down the back line there. Interesting. He's going back down on Scotty Cowie. That's a, that'll be a good tussle. And Suckling looks like he's going to full forward against Andrew Harris. So back in the centre now. Would have cut off a lot of moves, uh, uh, Grant Suckling, you know. I don't know whether I'd sort of whack him down there, but I suppose things have got to be tried. Ladder takes it out of the ruck contest there and gave it to Wigmore. He was tackled for a long time after he got rid of the ball there, so he'll take the free kick wide. The lead's on Beekmans. He has to take the mark. He hasn't done a lot today, Beekmans, but that's better from him. He led hard at the ball. He's on half forward now in front of McLaughlin. He goes long, one out. Sutherland and Cowie. Posman getting back there also. Oh, well, I think... Uh, <coughs> I think... Uh, Sutherland pushed Posman in the back and it was just a bit of a domino effect there but Sutherland's got the free kick and uh, in between full back and centre half back goes long out towards Frost also Lehman in front good mark stood his ground to a great mark so just in the centre square now plays on quickly poor kick off the side of the boot McLaughlin just has to stand his ground and take the mark oh he's limping a bit too could be a bit of a problem there for the Lions handball across half back to Posman Wide kick, didn't look to where he was kicking to and kicked it to the ladder. He's on half forward now, goes long. Cowie runs out. Posman turned around and looked and Scotty took the mark. So Cowie had to reach and lunge for that ball but took the good mark in front of Sutherland the there. Over there and he's kicked yeah. out to uh, no vision and then uh, had Scotty Cowie rumbling down on him. Cowie now pushed out towards the uh, right-hand goal post going up. Warren and also Westwick and they've only seen the ball go over the top of their heads there. They probably both could have taken the mark. There was no talking, so a rush behind there for... Sorry, they only need one to throw out yep. their arm and knock the other bloke's arm out the road. The guy in front can take the mark. So 12-10-82, Geelong West. And 5-4-34 East Belmont. Kick out by Bell out towards half back. Running through Sneller. Good play by him. Up towards the wing position now. Cut off, though, by Nick Lacino. And he plays, oh, poor kick off the boot's going to put Hill under pressure. He's got surrounded by Lions. He's got Sam Lacino out wide, though. But it's going to be a free kick coming back to Hill. Undisciplined. And that was from the coach there, too. So undisciplined play from the Lions coach, Dave Franey. Hill now, pretty congested forward line. He's got much to kick, too. He goes towards Cowie now. It's a poor kick off the boot. Wigmore and Kelly are at centre forward. Cowie runs straight out. And Shepherds. Wigmore gets around the, the lunging tackle of Keegan. Goes long. Lehman's got the set. He goes up. He taps it over towards the boundary line. He's not going to be able to keep it in. And a boundary throw in at half forward for the Cheaters. So they haven't seen much of the ball in their forward line yet. The Lions in this third quarter. 
Warren to come over and do the ruck work against Keegan. Scott also there. Falls to Posman. Handball out to Ricks is good. Oh, he dummied the tackle to Ian Alley and then got wrapped up by Jamie Legal. Great tackle. So Legal now. Glad Ricks is pretty quick too. Yeah. Jason, he's done well to run him down. Legal gets out towards Kelly and Westwick coming up. Oh, Cowie gets it off the back of the pack to Lehman. Left foot kick around the corner coming out. Rathji. Scott stands his ground. Falls out towards the boundary line and will be out of bounds again. The love child can't keep it in there. And another boundary throw in. So we see three or four Cheetahs players across half forward here. Just uh, waiting if the ball comes back out again to pump it back into the forward line. Warren pushes in the back there. Scott gets it to Legal. Measures the kick. Torpedo. Sensational. Great kick for Cole. Inside and out, upside <laughs> down, torpedo, straight through the middle. <laughs> Jamie Legella's kicked his first and Geelong West's 13th. Uh, so, yeah, well, he's been practicing them for a long time, Jason, and uh, obviously his hard work's paid off there. <laughs> <laughs> Geelong, <laughs> Geelong West Cricket and Football Club, 13-10-88. East Belmont 5, 4, 34, 54 points of difference on the Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. <laughs> and you'll be telling everybody about that tonight. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Probably just reward for his tackle a minute ago, and uh, you know things happen for you if you if you take chances and stuff, and that's good. So back in the centre now, Keegan and Ladder to do the ruck work. Good bounce by the umpire. Ladder stands his ground, tries to pluck it out of the ruck again. Stern's there also, fights hard for it. Good play by Stern, kept it in front of him, and then got the free kick. <laughs> so Stern now just outside the centre square to take the free kick. Second quarter. Yeah, he has, isn't he? So Sturt now. Kicks towards centre half Ford Kelly. Oh, gave Lakino one to go on with. And it's going to be a free kick to Kelly. So there you go. That's He's got just reward there for the holding on, obviously, from Lakino. He's gone an awful long way back there, Kelly. So Ladders had to gridiron throw it back. Now the handball on to Posman. The lead out from, oh, that was McLaughlin. Handball, Lakino, good vision. Stewie Scott, left foot kick short towards the love child. Had to be pinpoint and was in front of Posman there. So Cook now. Plays on, goes across half back. Neil has to stand on his ground. Takes the mark in front of Franey. Made him earn it. Yes, he did. Now Pike gives him a hand, gives him the ball back and lets West go on. Lakino now across half back. Right foot kick, Paul one. Bell, Beekmans was going long. Bell now, handball to Mirko Sneller. Little well, kick in. Okay. He has towards Joseph, who has all, also played well for the Lions. Goes wide. Oh, Lakino will be able to cut this off, I think. Yes, he stands his ground. He knew Suckling was coming, but took a good mark. And Nick Lakino to relieve the pressure for the Cheetahs. At half back, out of side. Handball to Harris. Short little kick in towards Westwick. Oh, it's over his head. Now falls to Sam Lakino. Over the top. Tapped on there. Towards Neil from Beekman. Sam Lakino followed it on. Handball puts it out in front of Westwick. Might be out of bounds though before Stern and Westwick can keep it in. It is, and there'll be a boundary throw in. In between wing and half forward for the Cheetahs. Who lead 13 10 88. East Belmont 5 4 34 in this third quarter. Thrown in now. Beekman's from behind. Taps it to the front of the pack. Keegan on hands and knees again. They've got the numbers over here, the Lions. They work it hard. Kick up in the air. Frost has to run back with it. Lehman takes the mark. Plays on. Handball is good to Rathji. Running past Nick Lakino. Finish it off, Nick. He's at 47. Typical Backman's kick, though, unfortunately for him. Goes up towards Sutherland and Cowie. Cowie. Handball is sensational to Stewie Scott. Oh, great work. And Stewie Scott's finished it off for a goal. So great work there from the big man again, uh, Gus. Yeah, yeah, he always has an input, as I said. He makes a contest of everything. Nothing gets past him easy one way or the other. So, uh, yeah, it was good. Great work by Vinny Lehman. Twisted in the full in mid-air as he and took off. Good hands as well. And then across to uh, Nick Latino. So that was good. As you said, typical backman's. <laughs> Nick. I think he's seen the sticks, but he's about 70 out. <laughs> anyway. It's a long West Korean Football Club. 14-10-94. Lead East Belmont 5-4-34 on the Apco Easy Shops. Third quarter scoreboard. And you'd really see that... Uh, down there, Sutherland and Cowie, you usually see that at the other end of the ground. Yeah, Sutherland at full yeah. forward and Cowie at full back. Yeah. The other way, though, today here at Baker's Oval, back in the centre now. Ladder 
Goes up in the end with Posner, gets the tap down, falls towards Travis Kelly. Neil sits and waits, can't take the ball to Kino. He overruns it. Buchanan can get the handball out to Rick's running past. He holds it up, though. The lead was on from Suckling. Goes back in that direction now. Harris getting back, though. Was out of the contest there for a long time, but then punched it through for a rush behind to uh, East Bowen. So good play by Harris to get back there. So another behind to East Belmont. They go to 5-5-35. Five, five, and Geelong West 14-10-94. Kick in from Scragger. Craig comes to the grandstand solid for Westwick. Stands his ground and takes the mark at half back. The lead's on from Stewie Scott. Goes in that direction. Poor kick though. Has to sit and wait. Taps it on sensationally towards the Lehman there. Posman comes across. Oh, Stern kicked it off the ground out of Lehman's hands. Scott stands there again. Gives it back to Lehman. Oh, wrapped up. Good pressure there from the Lions. The Love Child runs straight through the pack, though. Great work. Long towards Wigmore against Williamson. Wigmore, look at that. Takes the mark, plays on quickly. Goes towards the lead of Cowie and Sutherland. Sutherland, good use of the body. He takes the mark. So in the last line, defence Sutherland. Poor kick off the boot. Raf G at 47. Takes the mark, plays on. He'll kick this. Look at that, straight through the middle for a behind. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what always happens, you give him a wrap and what happens? They just kick him behind, he's kicked one goal three, I'm never backing him again, don't worry about that. <laughs> so, 14-11-95, Geelong West, East Belmont, 5-5-35. Five, five, Ten goals, a difference here at Baker's Oval with Sutherland. Hopefully this kick is a better one than his last one 30 seconds ago when it fell to Rapji. Yeah, he goes that. to Torpedo and it didn't come off that time either. Goes towards Lehman at half back. Oh, oh hasn't paid the mark. He's paid worse than that today, the umpire. Ricks running back. Westwick comes across. He's in under pressure. Gives it to Kelly. That's Damien. Right foot kick around the corner. Stewie Scott comes across. Takes the ease of the marks. He's got Wigmore there. And he's now given the free kick to Stern. There was uh, can't step it on the mark. I heard the umpire say to Lacino there. So Chris Stern at half back. To take the free oh, kick for the Lions. Is that a rule or not? I think if your player plays on, you must be able to shepherd him, provided he's in five minutes. Well, he, he might not have called play on the umpire there, but yeah. uh, Buchanan takes the mark in the pack there at half forward. Goes long. Suckling comes out. Harris stands his ground. Look at that. Used the body well, Harris. And will relieve the pressure. He had Neil running across. He elects to kick, though, towards the love child. Cook at half forward. In fact, sorry, half back. And 50. Frost didn't come back when he was told to, so 50 metres against East Belmont there. And oh, it's hard for us to hear the bloody hook. It's hard for us to hear the... the <laughs> there we go. Lucky we're not on radio. Calling, calling, uh, <laughs> calling him back, but I thought that was very trivial. Yeah. Gee whiz, he's lucky to take two steps to his left. And uh, I wouldn't mind buying land off the umpire now. He's been a bit better for, for, for the cheaters on that occasion. Buy a block of land off him would be sensational. Cook now goes long. One out Lehman against uh, Franey there. Good use of the body by Franey. Wigmore on the bottom of the pack also. Little tab out to Lehman. Taps it out further afield towards Hill. He's trapped by two Lions there, but he gets it back to Wigmore. Short little kick back to Lacuna. Oh, it's kicked backwards. He has to get it now. He's got ladder in support. Handball though towards Scott. He's got ladder running past. He gets it to him now. Left foot kick long towards Warren. Stands over the, the back. Was a good tap away by Sneller. Closely towards Westwick there, and the boundary line will beat him over. Lucino coming off for missing that goal there before, I think, uh, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's tough. That is tough. No, no, no. no. It's, it's not, uh, He's off, it. and Frankie Fratoli is on. Throw in. Over the back there, like Cal Cowie has put it straight through. Oh, and Scotty's going to have a big night tonight. <laughs> Never hear the end of this. He's kicked five goals now, and that was Geelong West. 15th, they go to 15-11, uh, 105, East Belmont, 5-5-35, so... Okay, we'll have a few cakes tonight, mate, he doesn't drink beer, so he'll, uh, yeah, he'll probably enjoy himself with a couple of uh, cans of cake. What's, what's, what's wrong with the boy? He's a fitness freak, is he? <laughs> I don't think so. I know body. Scotty will be there too tonight at the Western, so... Have a look, look. at the body on him, he is a fitness freak, is he? <laughs> <laughs> you said that. <laughs> so... 15-11 plays 5-5. Five, five. And, uh, yeah, that's Sean Skeen, who's on. Back in the centre now. Falls towards Lehman at centre-half forward. That was from Ian Nelly. Goes long towards Cowie, who's behind on this occasion. Held on to, yeah, held on to. At the initial stages when Hootie Lehman kicked the ball, Jamie Southern was behind. So he's, on the lead. so he's done well to get in front there and yep. take the free kick. He worked towards Franey on half-back, but... The kick was poor in the end. 
and it went out of bounds before Franey could trap it. So a boundary throw in. Warren comes across to do the uh, ruck work for the Cheaters. <coughs> Warren and Suckling. Warren in front. Suckling gets it down. Ricks traps it close to the boundary line. And uh, boundary throwing again in the same spot. Ricks was wrapped up there by Fratoli. So another boundary throwing. You can hear Stuart Scott yelling instructions to his uh, on ballers there. Warren handball towards Fratoli. Runs without it. Ricks off the ground. Stewie Scott runs straight out. Falls towards Legal. He's out of bounds there, and a boundary throw in right in front of the commentary box. So Gus will be able to give some words of advice to the boundary umpire. <laughs> we can't even see, there he is. Right in front of the commentary box, Warren and Suckling do the record again. Whoa. We'll give it to him, will we? Oh, there we go, great throw in. Over the back there was Frost, tapped it towards the advantage of Stern. Right foot kicked by him, Long. Oh, there's nobody back there, though, for West. Fratoli sits and waits and takes the mark. Oh, Ricks. Ran over the mark, but he called play on. Short little kick by him towards Stern. Can't trap it and get it away. He does now. He's tackled. Posman's there, close to the boundary line. I think it might be out now. And another boundary throw in. So this boundary umpire's had a bit of work to do in this quarter. We had the situation a couple of weeks ago, Jason. We won through one up in the tree. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> some overhanging branches <laughs> here at, uh, in the backyard, but they need to be fixed up, I think, by the committee. I'll be Can't speaking to the, uh, well, Dave Armstrong. What has he done to his hair? Uh, well, uh, or lack of it now. Unbelievable. I think it's to do with his job. He runs a butcher shop, so he's got to be with the health uh, reasons. So rather than have a hairnet, he has none at all. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Third attempt by the boundary umpire here to throw it in. Well, he's coming out a long way off the boundary line there, so there might be some overhanging branches there too as well. So he throws it in now. Ladder gets to the front. Quick left foot kick is in one of those trees, I would say, now, or in a backyard. Free kick's going to be taken for East Belmont by Dave Franey. Yeah, well, uh, it's pretty hard to cut the trees down. I mean, the residents aren't real happy about, uh, about uh, cutting them down. So it's it's in it's in a backyard, I think, at the footy. So uh, we're just waiting for somebody to get over and get it. They've got it now, so it's going to be a free kick taken by Dave Franey. It's Dave Graney and the Coral Snakes, Sean, our cameraman, not Dave Franey and the Coral Snakes. <laughs> You're Although Dave will probably think that as a compliment. He goes short now towards the lead of McLaughlin. It falls towards Keegan. Right foot kick over his shoulder is a good one too. Gets plenty of distance. Sam Lacino push. Thought it was over the shoulder. Play on advantage. Glenn Ricks, can he finish it off? He can do so. <clears throat> so his first goal and East Belmont sixth. 6-5-41. They trail Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club 15-11-101. Apco Easy Shop third quarter score. Well, now, we forgot to get Brett Rovier's uh, tip before the uh, game. He usually picks the outsider. Would you have picked East Belmont this afternoon? You would have picked these Belmont by 10 goals too and you would have been extremely wrong at this stage of the game anyway because they're 10 goals down. So, 20-goal turnaround for you. 15-11 plays 6-5 back in the centre. McKeegan's worked hard, Jason. He has very hard, hasn't he? There, put it forward for uh, well, the free kick was given and a play on, but uh, missed come from Trevor there. Back in the centre now, ladder goes up, taps it to the back of the pack towards Wigmore. Kelly wrap, wrapped up and ripped off the ball. Suckling runs through. He's had a pretty good game today also. Goes up towards Joseph, gets one hand to it, running through Scragger Craig. He's on hands and knees, tries to get out towards Frank Nelly. Keeps it in front of him, Frank playing for the free kick. He can't do so. Handball further afield towards Ricks. Gets back into his left boot. Short little kick. Vision is pretty good. And Scotty Robe has taken the mark. So they look a lot better when they run it through the centre, don't they? Through the midfield, yep, through the corridor. Yeah, through centre forward there. Mm. And, uh, yeah, they put the ball to the, uh, the teammates rather than kicking it high in the air and stuff. It makes it a lot easier for the guys on the lead. So Glenn, Ricks, Glenn Ricks is a good finisher, so he's, he's kicked it there. And there's two of them there to take the mark, so... Scott Robe goes his right boot and has missed to the near side, so one behind to him. So uh, they move on to 6 6 42 East Belmont, Geelong West Cricket and Football Club 15 11 101. Middle stage of this third quarter as the footy's back from Elizabeth Street, and it was a good goal by the guy over the back there. And Scragger Craig's, uh, I think, just told him about it because it was a nice old kick over his head. So Craig now to kick it out from full back for the Cheaters. He's got an early lead on from Lehman. 
He ignores that and goes straight down the ground to Wigmore against Buchanan. That'll be a fair contest there. It falls towards Chris Stern now. Little right foot kick around the corner towards Franey running out. Also, Harris rides the bump well. Look at that. Good work. That's why he was the <coughs> league best and fairest in Division 2 last year. Goes out towards Rathji. Can't take the mark. Wrapped up by McLaughlin. Held on to. He had got rid of the ball. Play on advantage. Stuart Scott. Oh, he's brought it back. All the times he brought it back, he's called advantage a lot this in this game, but uh, didn't pay advantage there. At half-back now, Rathji kick towards Lehman. Getting up there, though. Suckling. Done well. Play on the call now. Little kick towards Frane. He has to sit and wait. Scragger goes up. Gives a push in the back. Could have nearly taken the mark. But he's pushed Frane in the back. He probably would have struggled because he had one hand right in the middle of his head. <laughs> and Dave Frane and the Coral Snakes goes towards the lead of Glenn Rex. And Rex takes the good mark, the little man there. So Sean Cannon's done a cookie and named somebody today, which is good to see. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting to see there, and uh, we're tucking Glucono off. I think he was Rich's man, and he's kicked, uh, had three possessions in the last five, six minutes. I think you're right, too. Ricks goes with his left foot across the face of goal, tapped through by Sam Lucino, and one behind. So, 6 7 43 East Belmont, Geelong West 15 11 101 at the Coezy Shop third quarter scoreboard. They've kicked uh, two goals, three this quarter, East Belmont, while. Uh, Geelong West have kicked six goals, five. So they've certainly had a bit of the ball. <coughs> 11 scoring shots. Scragger Craig. Short little kick, Wigmore. Good lead. Takes the mark in front of Suckling. Plays on, does he? Yes, he does. Has to get around Suckling now. Left foot kick towards Stuart Scott. Stern behind, a long way behind on this occasion. Scott runs back, tries to give it back to Wigmore or Suckling. He's there also. Wigmore went at the ball, gets rid of it. Held on to Craig, tries to break the tackle, can't do so. Travis Kelly's there, gets around one, left foot kick. Long towards the teeth of goal, standing there. Kelly falls towards Posman, handball towards Joseph. Harris is there also. They've got the numbers. They can't get the ball through, though. It's going to be tapped through. Is it by Frank Fatoli? I think it is. Harris is like a bowling ball there. He's knocking him over. <laughs> he went through there. He's opened up a bit of a hole. <coughs> So East Belmont, 6 8 44. Geelong West, 15 11 101. So they've done most of the attacking in this last two or three minutes. Craig, kick out towards Ladder. Keegan giving him a bit of latitude, but he can't pick it up. Stern, he's got the numbers here, the Lions. Right foot kick long. Up there, Sam Lacuno, good punch away at the front of the pack, suckling. Traps it, handball towards Adam Joseph. Left foot kick high. I think he might have just snuck it through for a goal, has he? No, he's just missed and one behind. Bit of a problem there, Jace, when you're kicking out from full back. And <coughs> excuse me, all, all respect due to the Scragger there, but he's kicked to Justin Ladder. Even though he didn't hit the target, he's kicked a one on four now. There must be blokes running around somewhere that are loose. So when you're kicking out from full back, you've got all day to take your choice of the option and you uh, should pick the right ones pretty well all the time. Harris kicks on it, kicks out this occasion, goes towards Andy Hill at half back. He was outnumbered also. Joseph was there. Rathji now gets it back to Scragger Craig. He's got Scott on the, on, on the wing, and that was better vision as Gus called. Because he found Stewie Scott there, plays on quickly. He had Lehman inside in the centre, but it was a poor kick from the coach there. He might not give him a game, might give himself a game next week because he kicked it straight to Chris Stern in the middle. Oh, poor kick by him too. And Brett Wigmore takes the relieving mark at centre half back for the Cheaters. The lead was on from Warren. He goes towards Legal in that direction. Oh, good mark over the back. Glenn Frost stood his ground. He had Keegan in board. He goes in that direction, but it's a poor kick again. Beekman stands his ground and takes the mark. <clears throat> so just a turn over there from the Lions. They could have started something now. The runners wide there. Yeah, they're going to have to uh, go back and play the defence now. Legal was short. Beekman's is going to go longer. Oh, the lead from Cowie. A long way out. Sutherland comes with him. Pushed over the back. And there is three-quarter time. Is that way quick? And, uh, yeah, that was the siren. 15-11, 101. Uh, Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club. And East Belmont, 6-9-45. So in that quarter, East Belmont kicked two goals, five. Geelong West kicked six goals, five. So that's where Geelong West Cricket and Football Club have got their lead. They seem to be most of the damage in the first 15 minutes of the quarter there, Jason. They start to pick up a little bit, work a bit harder, lift their ratio towards yeah. the contest, and, uh, and they started to come back into it a little bit. But uh, West snick, snuck away there in the first 15 minutes of that quarter. 56 points of difference at three-quarter time. 15-11, 101. East Belmont, 6-9-45. The goal kickers for Geelong West. Well, Scotty Cowie has five. Andrew Hill has three. And singles to Scott Truen, Frank Ianelli, Jason Rathji, Stuart Scott, Jamie Legal, and Dean Westwick. While for East Belmont, three to Cam Buchanan. And singles to Dave Franey, Glenn Ricks, and Glenn Frost. So 56 points of difference at three-quarter time. We'll be back for the final quarter of GDFL Match of the Day, Round 8. After this, on Guest Video.